Welcome, everyone, to uh, the Alliance Group podcast. It is LBAM, and uh, to celebrate LBAM, we have a little discussion planned with myself and Lee Duncan, president and CEO of Alliance Group, and he'll have you know, uh, the the mastermind behind LBAM as far as the guy who came up with this idea, what, six years ago six now? Six years ago. It's crazy that it's been, it's been six years. Six years we've been doing Living Benefits Awareness Month. The, the team loves it too because we are so stressed at the end of the year trying to close out the year <laughs> and at the same time working on everything that we have to do to get ready for LBAM that starts January 1st. The so. biggest marketing push of the year right at the same time as closing out the year. But, Lee, I'm glad you actually brought that up because... It was strategic that we did Living Benefits Awareness Month in January for our agents, right? Yeah, we were looking for a way to uh, remarket all the stuff that we had um, we'd, we'd put out, the testimonial videos that we had shot that year. I think that year we shot like eight testimonial yeah, videos. Yeah, that was a crazy year. And we, we pushed them out real fast one after the other, and it was like, hey, we need to remarket these. We need to come up with a way and a reason to have all of our agents share all these again. Right. right. And so that's that's kind of how LBAM that came was about. The, that was the kind of genesis of mm-hmm. the idea, right? Like we need to figure out maybe we should have a marketing push. And then it kind of it grew. The idea grew into, well, we need to have an awareness month, much like, you know, we have Breast Cancer Awareness Month. like Life Insurance have, Awareness Month. Exactly, which, which we know that uh, we actually participate in at Alliance Group every year. We, you know, create some marketing tools mm-hmm. for people to, to, uh, to kind of market Life Insurance Awareness Month. But we were like, you know, you, your idea was we need to create our own awareness month and really give our agents the opportunity to to, to latch on to something. Well, it's it's what we do, right? right? Living benefits is is literally what we do and all we do, and and we have such a passion around it that um, it just makes sense that we're the leader in education and awareness around living benefits. Yep. Um, we we want to be the, the the foremost provider of that education and the awareness around it to to make sure that that uh, all the Americans and the the families out there that that don't know about living benefits learn about them right. because that, that's that's our biggest challenge is is continuing to push out and give people information that they can they can they can use to make a decision to right. to purchase that kind of product. So for any agents out there who 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 might not know uh, what living benefits are, uh, to kind of sum it up, right? Living benefits are this. We market it at Alliance Group, and we have been for uh, how long have we been marketing living benefits? Is it 20, twenty-four years. Twenty-four years now. Twenty-four. Years. Uh, it, it's it's the new kind of life insurance, right? That you don't have to die to use. And I say new kind, and I use air quotes because again, we've been marketing this idea at Alliance Group. We are the living benefits IMO. We've been doing this. For 24 years, and we're still able to market this as a new kind of life insurance because the fact is... Even not- advisors. I talk to advisors <laughs> on a day-to-day basis that have never heard of it. Or they they, they think they know. Right. Right. That, and right. That's, that's the thing that I think is uh, becoming more prevalent as I'm talking to new advisors that don't... No alliance group or or the products that we sell is that they think they they're selling living. Yeah, benefits. I know what living benefits are. Yeah, yeah that's that uh, where you can get uh, you know cash value from your permanent life insurance policy, right? Or if you're about to die, right? You know, you can accelerate your death. And no, that's not what we're selling. That's right. not that's not uh, the living benefits that we know and love uh, so much. Right. It's uh, it's it's way more than that. And uh, you know, having the ability to access your death benefit if you were to be in a chronic illness type situation where you need help with your daily living activities, mm-hmm. uh, almost like a long-term care type situation, uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, cancer, heart attack, stroke. And it doesn't have to be a stage four. It doesn't have to be I'm on right. my deathbed to get anything from my policy. It's uh, it can, it can be, you know, those minor, moderate, severe uh, type uh, cancers that uh, they, they give you access to the death benefit. So it's not just it's not just living benefits that that, that we're really working on on making um, people aware of throughout Living Benefits Awareness Month. It is that there are different kind of uh, varieties of living benefits out there. And what you really need to be looking at is what we consider true living benefits at Alliance Group, which if you have a true living benefits policy, which we we work very strategically with the carriers that we do for this reason, uh, they provide the very best living benefits in the market. In some cases, uh, because, um, you know, in the case of National Life, for example, they created the product that way. Mm-hmm. In other cases, because Alliance Group actually brought these definitions, this very high standard of living benefits definitions to them and said, we would like to do business with you, but only if 
you can meet. You design them. these products. And, yes. they, that, that's, and, and make them work this way, mm-hmm. which is the highest standard of living benefits out there. Absolutely. And and that that's, that's one of the things that we, we love to do at Alliance Group is not only introducing living benefits to agents and advisors and clients, but also to insurance companies as well. And we, we have some strategic partners that, uh, that, as Sam said, that we we, we took these concepts, these ideas, and, and, and really worked with them to develop these state-of-the-art living benefits products that right. we can then go out and market. Yep. And so Living Benefits Awareness Month every January, um, it's something that we we love doing uh, at the marketing team. As you mentioned, it is really crazy, but it's also, it's when we get to go back and kind of go back to that reason, that, that core reason that I mean, I know that I personally am, am very passionate about living benefits. I actually caught that passion from you and, mm-hmm. and, and from Jerry Stratton. Um, I I always say I could I I would not be in the life insurance industry if it weren't for living benefits. Yeah, that same. If, if I was just selling a death benefit, I mean, that's it, it, it's it, it, you can't get excited about that, right? You, you really <laughs> it's it's hard. And it, one of the things that is hard about this business is t- is talking to people about these kind of instances that they they have to worry about and right. and protect themselves. But and people don't want to think about their death, right. you know. But they they understand that hey, something can happen to me. I can get sick because they they they've had a family member, they've, they've had a friend, they've had somebody that that's close to them that's experienced. You know what I say was one of the big three: heart mm-hmm. attack, stroke, or cancer. Yep. And and that's you know, you know this, that that's one of the reasons I'm so passionate about these products is because of what my family went through. Right. And my mom was not health, you know, was not insurance poor. She had a health insurance policy. She had coverage at work. But when she was diagnosed with cancer, we, we lost everything. And it was very fast. Yep. Uh, you know, we were kind of a paycheck to paycheck family, mm-hmm. um, single mom with three kids. And, um, you know, real fast, the 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 expenses outweighed the income, right. and and um, so we ended up losing our house through foreclosure, medical bankruptcies, uh, all up and down the line. And, and my they, these weren't around then; um, these policies weren't around then for my mom to buy. But I know if she would have had one of these policies, it would have helped out tremendously with that that um, that short term need for money, right? Right? That right. that that need that that arises right away because you're going to have some time off of work. You're going to have in- increased expenses, even if you have the best health insurance policy out there. Yep. It's, it's, uh, you know, there's, I always say that, of course, there is this benefit of, of just having that money in, in your hands immediately when something happens, when a cancer diagnosis or a surprise heart attack, these are never things that you plan for. They're never things that you see coming. They always hit you like a ton of bricks, heart attack, stroke, cancer. You're not really, you don't, you're not prepared for those things to happen. So it's always a surprise. Um, and having access to that money is absolutely huge, not just for the financial part of it, which is obvious, right? Mm-hmm. You're able to, to, to have the money to, to pursue whatever treatments your doctor's recommending to replace the income while you're out of work. That's great. But, you know, I think that a really big passive kind of benefit to having living benefits is just taking that stress off Take, of taking the load off. Right. And I, I, we've heard it from so many of our clients in these testimony videos. I, I think yep. almost every one of them says it. It's like that weight lifted off my shoulders. Yeah. Right. I was so worried about uh, money. money and my, 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 what's, what my family is going to do. Right. right? And uh, just, just being able to lift that burden uh, and that stress and stress kills. I mean, we, we all know that. I mean, mm-hmm. we've, I, I just heard a, uh, on the radio the other day that, uh, around Christmas time, more people have a heart attack around Christmas. Christmas Day is actually the the day that more heart attacks happen in the U.S. Wow. than any other day. And and what they were talking about in that radio show was that um, it's it's around the stress of the holidays, yeah, right? Yeah. It's around the did I do all the right things? Did I do did I get all this stuff going on with my kids? And then and then you got and family then, in. Yeah, and and got, <laughs> it's a very stressful stuff. time. And, yeah, and and. and, and and there's money stress involved with it too, right? Mm, absolutely. And and so that um, stress kills. And, and and by being able to be there and deliver a check to a client, uh, person, I've de- personally delivered 12 living benefit claims, and it, it's such uh, an amazing experience to be able to do that, uh, sitting across the table from somebody that I made a promise to, yeah. and I'm there helping them in their time of need, and, and um, it's, it's just an awesome experience. It makes you feel like Superman. That stress that you're talking about, uh, you know, stress kills. Now mm-hmm. imagine a body that's just been weakened by a, a major heart attack or is fighting it, actively fighting an internal cancer mm-hmm. that's ravaging the body. What does stress do to a body like that, it's right? Exactly. Right, so it's like, it's, it's like putting gas on a fire. Exactly. Right. Exactly. You know, and and uh, that's that's what we're we're here and trying to do. And I, I think our mission will continue until 
every American has living benefits. Yes. And and so we're 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 I, I don't I don't want to this to come across the wrong way. We're a very successful agency. we we sell a lot of this. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you look at the numbers that we sell, the the opportunity is huge. There's <laughs> over sixty million families that say they need, according to Limra, over sixty million families that say they need more insurance or they don't have any at all. Right. And those those numbers have actually been climbing yes. r- recently, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, and so we we sold about forty thousand families last year. That's that's huge. That's fantastic. That, that's that, that's amazing. But forty thousand versus sixty million. It's the tip of the iceberg. Right. It's just the tip of the iceberg. So, we have so much work to do. Um, and heading into twenty twenty three, uh, Living Benefits Awareness Month is going to help us do that. Um, you know, we've been doing this for twenty four years. As you said, we have a lot of families to help. Um, why doesn't ev- why doesn't everyone already have living benefits, Lee? I think it comes back to education. And I, 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 there's there's uh, I don't I don't think I've ever sat across the table from a family that uh, that I've explained living benefits to and they've got it uh, that didn't buy it. Right, because it just makes sense. Right, it's if, literally if, a no brainer. It, it is, and and a lot of times we can even put it in place for the same price or cheaper than what they're paying for their death benefit only product. Mm-hmm. Um, and so one of our campaigns not uh, last year was actually retire your death insurance. That was a fun one. That was a fun <laughs> one too. Yeah. We had, uh, for those of you who might've seen it, we had uh, death as a character, you know, the guy with the, with the little sickle and, and, and the black cloak. And the idea was he was retiring his death insurance. We were le- letting everyone know throughout January as last year's LBAM theme to retire your death insurance uh, and get the new kind of life insurance. So we had these short videos uh, that we used in our marketing that showed death retired in various scenarios, floating across your pool, actually, right. uh, in, in your backyard. Uh, we shot that in December. We and did. I think the pool was like 45 degrees. Travis, <laughs> Travis was the one in the pool in, in the death costume, and uh, he, he really took one for the team there. But, you know, in the in the great words of John Craft, uh, you know, John Craft is the founder of Alliance Group and one of my partners and mentors in this business, and, and what he always used to say is it's so true. It's, it's such a great country saying is that, if you've got the old kind of life insurance that only pays out the the death, you got the wrong stuff. You've got the wrong stuff. <laughs> you've got the wrong stuff. It uh, living benefits uh, not only add all that uh, all that access to that money in those scenarios. One thing that I really need people to understand, and and, and I, I you know I I make sure that all my clients understand is it is just an option. Um, you don't have to take money from your life insurance policy when you get sick if you don't want to. You don't have to accelerate that death benefit if you don't want. But it is an option. And mm-hmm. so do you want an option or do you want no option? Um, that's very important. The other big key that people need to understand is that living benefits don't, that these riders are free riders that are automatically mm-hmm. included. They don't cost any extra. So that goes back to what you are talking about, about kind of the no-brainer scenario, no right? Brainer. It makes no sense for people not to have it. So the only barrier that's stopping us really, Lee, from, from helping everyone in America and taking a much bigger chunk out of that iceberg that you were talking about earlier Um, is to let people know that they exist. Because as you were just saying, when people know that they exist, they get living benefits because it makes no sense not to. Absolutely. And, and, and that, and that's, that's why we invented living benefits awareness month is to, to really push out it and, and educate consumers, advisors, insurance companies, everybody and anybody that will watch our marketing mm-hmm. uh, and and learn about living benefits and, and why they should have them. And in our role at Alliance Group, we are an, an independent marketing organization. You know, we we help our, our customers, our independent agents and agencies. Um, so with Living Benefits Awareness Month, what we're really doing is the marketing team at Alliance Group is creating marketing tools, uh, videos, memes, uh, statistical images, animated infographics, all the tools that, that we can create to basically arm our agents and our agencies with and say, go out there, it's Living Benefits Awareness Month, uh, go out there and make as many people aware as possible throughout January that living benefits exist. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's really this kind of built-in uh, opportunity every year for us to kind of spread the word and, and to help our, our, our agents spread the gospel. We have a theme every year. We talked about retire your death insurance. Uh, this year, we have a great one. Um, it's go fund yourself. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the idea there being um, that GoFundMe is this safety net that unfortunately, you know, it has become a safety net to kind of prop up the failures yeah, of America's all, healthcare all, system. We've right? all seen the, and it doesn't just have to be GoFundMe. It, we, I, you know, I was in a restaurant not too long ago and, and obviously one of the waitresses in the restaurant had gotten cancer. Mm-hmm. And so they had a literally a bucket 
next to the cash register where you're where you're paying your bill asking for you know five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars for the stranger that I've, I've never met and mm-hmm. um you know just the, I, I i've always you know i always say a little prayer for that 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 individual and you know through their journey with this with this particular disease that they're facing mm-hmm. uh and and when you can you help you yes, know, and, of and, and especially if you you see a friend uh, that that that's out there in need, you you want to help. But mm-hmm. you know, how far is twenty bucks or a hundred bucks? You know, how how far how is far that, is that go? really going to go? Yeah, and mm-hmm. and the reliance upon that is is um it's is not a place that you want to be in. And, and and that's what that's what we're trying to say with this campaign. And, and the research actually shows that. So we actually first came up with the idea of GoFund Yourself. I think it's four years ago. It was four years ago. Four yeah. years ago. Uh, we came up with this idea because we already had an idea that GoFundMe is not working. It, I mean, it, it isn't a reliable plan. It is a, it's wonderful. And and one thing I, we, we spend a lot of time talking about, I don't want people to think we're demonizing GoFundMe. It's awesome that yeah. GoFundMe exists because right. it gives us a platform to help people who are in desperate situations, mm-hmm. so desperate that they had to start a crowdfunding campaign to fund their 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 family after something unexpected happened medically, but what our point is is not that GoFundMe is a bad thing. It's that you if you if you could, wouldn't you like to avoid having your family be in such a desperate situation that you would have to resort to something like GoFundMe? That's why we started this four years ago. Now, what we're coming back and 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 talking about four years later is there's now been research that's been done over mm-hmm. the last four years because. This, GoFundMe now has some legs on it. It's been going for, you know, 10 plus years now. So they're able to look back and start to do studies. And all of the evidence and all of these research these research studies that we're, that we're investigating, they point to the fact that GoFundMe does not work, which mm-hmm. is the most important thing. They don't, they don't reach their goals. They don't reach the, their goals. The, the goals that was put out there is the, you know, if they wanted to raise 20000 50000 for a surgery or, um, you know, to, to help cover mortgage payments and this, that, and the other is they, they hardly ever, hardly ever get to the number that they're, they're trying to reach. 12%. This 12%. is, this is the most recent research. They actually did a huge study on this. Um, 12% of all GoFundMe campaigns reach their funding goal, which I think it's important to put in context because that's not necessarily saying uh, that 12% totally succeeded and paid for everything. It's just saying that reached whatever funding goal. So if I was sick and you started to go fund me for me, maybe you said, let's just get Samuel 2000 bucks, you know, to, to kind of get through this time. That doesn't mean that 2000 bucks solved all my problems. No. Right. So that's those types of campaigns are counted in that 12%, 12% reached their goal and actually a larger percentage, 16% don't get the first dollar. They get wow. zero. They get so, zero. So, this entire go fund yourself thing that, that that we're bringing back up is more of a you know it's it's not saying GoFundMe is a bad thing but what it is saying is GoFundMe doesn't work you need a better plan in place and living benefits are that plan that you need in place for your family it, to to protect yourself from uh, those major illnesses that can occur um, that uh, that generate a need for money you know and we've talked about a few of them cancer heart attack stroke Lou Gehrig's disease blindness major organ transplant uh, aortic graft surgery. I'm doing all this from memory. Yeah, it's pretty right? good. Uh, you can see he's been doing this for 24 years. Right. So uh, all those things are there, and and like I said, every single one of those illnesses, that every single one of those triggers that we have in our in our living benefits, um, they they do generate that need for money. They give that client access to money, as you mentioned earlier. They don't have to take it. They don't have to take all of it. They could take a partial amount. We have mm-hmm. a lot of clients that will just accelerate part of their death benefit to get Absolutely. that little bit of money that they need today to get through that hump, that three month, that six month hump, because that's, that's what people are looking at whenever they, they have a, you know, think about a major heart surgery, open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. They're cutting your chest cavity open. They are literally cutting you open and doing surgery on your heart. Just that alone, not even, not even considering what's going on with the heart, just recovery alone from cutting your chest cavity. I mean, you're, you're a month out from doing anything. Right. Right. Um, And that's if it went well. Right. So two months and, and that it happens all too common. And it's not the, just the 60, 65, 70, 75, you know, the, these things are happening and, in, in, in people in, in their, in their thirties and forties and fifties, yep. right. In their high income earning years. Mm-hmm. And, and, and if you, if you're a client, if you're an advisor, uh, and, and I, I tell advisors this too, they should buy it themselves as well. Uh, and you're, you're making money and you have a family relying upon that income coming in the door to pay your bills and, and to cover, uh, the, everything that's going on in your household. You need this because, 
Um, one, if you die, right, they yep. need to replace that income. But two is if you have one of these major illnesses, it's it, you're going to have time off of work. You're going to have to. You're going to have increased expenses in yep. at, at least that three to six month range. And they, these these benefits that are in these policies can help with that. Absolutely. You know, health insurance is great. We hope everyone has health insurance. And sometimes health insurance does cover everything, right? Sometimes. Um, well, you got co-pays, you got deductibles, you got, right? I mean, so depending upon the policy you got, you know, and we've had clients say this in, in, that, in testimonial videos that have health insurance. You mm-hmm. know, it was, I was 20 grand out of pocket, 30 grand out of pocket, mm-hmm. all my, just my health insurance, right? That what my health insurance doesn't cover. Yep. If you don't have that set aside, Yep. Right. And not to mention that you don't, you're probably not going to have the income coming in the door. Then exactly. That's, that's where this comes in. That, that really is the big thing because people think about, well, I have health insurance. So like, you know, if something bad happens to me, health insurance is, is going to cover it all. That's why I have health insurance, but they don't stop to think, first of all, that might not be true. Mm-hmm. We've all seen the stories and know the stories about people thinking their health insurance is going to cover something and like, oh, well, and what does it plan, cover? You right. Know, determine experimental treatments and things like that. Right. You know? But on top of that, they don't think at all about the other big part of that puzzle that financial puzzle when you get sick and you go down uh, with, with something you are your income from work replacing that income from work right so that's something you also have to think about in addition to the new expense in the door so this is why we, we, we we're really talking about go fund yourself this year it's our theme um, we actually did a really uh, <laughs> a really fun little project, awesome uh, project. this year it's so much fun uh, a video that I, we I, decided I, I to smile shoot. from ear to ear every time I watch this it just like just like Giggly smiling yep. every time I'm watching this video. I literally told my boys, um, Rowan and Crosby, who are are featured in this video, um, I told them last night, I was like, guys, every time I watch this video, I like it more. You guys did such a great job. So as part of Living Benefits Awareness Month this year, we always try to do kind of a, a big kind of um, a, a big flagship video for, for this year's theme. This year we came up with, for the Go Fund Yourself theme, we decided to incorporate the Alliance Group Kids, uh, which included uh, your two little girls. Lillian and Amelia, they did a great job. Yeah, as well as my sons, Rowan and Crosby. And then we also had uh, Andrea Buffos, uh, Kiernan, that was helping, and uh, Daniel Amix, Luke, and all six kids, I swear. Killed it. We're, we're filming this thing, and I'm like, okay, which one of these is going to be the time bomb that goes off that makes this impossible to happen? All six of them did an amazing job. Let's see if we can actually roll uh, that video and, and give our viewers an idea of, of this video here. Hey, Mom. Mom, Dad. Dad, we need to talk. We need to talk. What's your plan for a medical emergency? We're gonna need money. We're gonna need money. Go fund me. Go fund me. Go fund me? Go fund me. Is that what your plan? I thought that was just asking people for money. What if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't work? Statistics say only 12% of them do, you know. We have a better idea. Go fund yourself. Go fund yourself. Go fund yourself. Go fund yourself. With Living Benefits Life Insurance. Living Benefits make sure we have plenty of money when we need it. Without relying on the kindness of others. If you get sick or hurt. If you get sick or hurt. It pays out a big pile of money. Big pile of money. It's an actual plan. It's an actual plan. And frankly, I'm going to need you to have one of those. You can buy it. Like right now. Right now. Like right now. So go do it. And get me a remote control helicopter while you're at it. (laughs) Okay. 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 Good talk. Good talk. Thanks for listening. You're the best. You're the best. Thanks for listening. Now, (laughs) bye-bye. <laughs> I love that video. It's it's amazing. It's so uh, again, I like it more and more each time. And uh, you know, I think what we needed is those kids keep it really simple. Yes, they do. <laughs> it, it 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 really makes sense from uh, from what they say. And 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 right. I, I think I think all the parents need to listen. <laughs> I do too. I do too. <laughs> um, so our agents, uh, absolutely, we we actually debuted that that video uh, on our big LBAM launch webinar yesterday. So they are busy already sharing it. Uh, getting it out there um, and, you know, helping us uh, helping us push it for, for Living Benefits Awareness Month this year. So as you know, Lee, of course, our agents, people who are with Alliance Group, uh, they have the benefit of Living Benefits Awareness Month and all the tools that we create. So the marketing team here at Alliance Group, we've created a whole treasure trove of that video. Uh, we have another amazing testimonial video uh, featuring Risa, Rita Bocuzzi, 
uh, and her client, Portia Lewis, that is also... A, a, so, so did, that, that's Before you watch that video, grab the Kleenex. Yes, uh, that's, absolutely. That's one that you... It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a great story. They did a really good job um, just to explaining the value of having that living benefits policy. And I, I think one of the things you said in there was you know, lifting that financial stress off. Exactly. You know, and, yep. and what that did for her. That's what she actually described it as. Um, air. Air. Yeah. Uh, the, the money, is like, it, it's not, not having it's not money. everything, but yeah. not having money is like not having air, I think is what she said. That's exactly what she <laughs> said. Um, so Portia Lewis was an example of a living benefits client who met one of our agents, Rita Bacuzzi, and she was able to receive $100,000 from her living benefits policy. And so we have so a video can, that tells that story. So you can see all that at my.alliancegrouplife.com. Uh, for all those uh, licensed agents that are with Alliance Group, my.alliancegrouplife.com. That's the Alliance Group agent portal and the LBAM page specifically is where you'll find not just those two videos, but all the stuff we've created. We have social media, shareable, you know, images. We have shareable articles, you know, articles that we've looked up. You know, I I, I talked about the research that's been done on, on GoFundMe. We have articles that you can post along with suggested language for how you can kind of share that information and that um, helps too. The suggested language. I, I, you know, there's there's times where I want to post something. And it's like, what do I say? Mm-hmm. And then I paralyze myself by thinking about what I say. Right. Yeah. And then and then second guess. Oh, but that doesn't make sense. It, but it, right. Just, right. Just post stuff. You yep. know, get it out there. Get the use these videos. The the team has done an amazing job of putting all this stuff together to help you look great out there in the field and and on your socials and 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 getting all these stories and messages out there. Yeah. So again, uh, Alliance Group agents, they head to the Alliance Group agent portal. They go to the LBAM page. That's where we have all of the tools you have to champion Living Benefits Awareness Month all month long. Now, for those of you who might be listening who are not with Alliance Group and not partnering with Alliance Group. Or client, prospect. True, true. If you love Living Benefits and you're interested in helping us um, champion Living Benefits Awareness Month, you can uh, head to alliancegrouplife.com. And that's where they can kind of start a conversation with, with us about possibly becoming uh, an alliance group partner, and then for any clients out there, for people who who are, are just wanting to get living benefits for themselves, Lee, we've actually created a website new, new to LBAM this year is livingbenefits101.com. And so, what we're once again just making sure that Alliance Group is is providing all the education and awareness to everybody out there. And so, this is an open open page that just educates consumers clients, prospects, uh, advisors on living benefits and how they work. We are the living benefits experts at Alliance Group. Livingbenefits101.com is kind of us just sharing our knowledge, our expertise, and really our experience uh, with with living benefits with the general public. And again, just trying to educate them. One thing that we've we've really taken, you know, that we, we really think is very important about that site is we're not there to sell you. We're there to educate you. We are your living benefits guides. We'll give you the information that you need. Um, and, and you can get it there without, you know, worry about anyone trying to shove a sale down your throat. Um, so, uh, that is where Lee, I'm, I'm really excited, uh, about January. Uh, we're closing out a really big year, another, yeah, th- another well, record it, year at Alliance it, it, Group. It, it, we would be remiss if we didn't say thank you for an amazing year. 2022 was a, uh, record breaking year on lots of different levels. We still got numbers coming in as of the time that we're filming, filming this. And, uh, but it, we, we've passed everything we've, we've, um, Past our our life target from last year, our annuity target from last year, and um, and it's just it's been an amazing year. So from Alliance Group, thank you for your partnership, thank you for uh, your trust in us, and we're going to continue to work our butts off uh, to provide you all the tools and resources that you need to accomplish your goals. You're here, so Lee, happy Living Benefits Awareness Month, man, brother. Happy, happy Elbam. <laughs> happy Elbam. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Listen to this interview and more on the Alliance Group podcast.